I'm Wooly! Today we're going to make an apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? Mmm, that sounds delicious. Today we're going to make an apple pie. First, we need to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples? Good job! We can use a sharp knife. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. Look, I'm a pirate! <laughs> that doesn't seem safe. Okay, Willie, let's cut the apples. That was hard. We have almost everything we need to make our pie. We just need some sugar. Hmm, do you know where we keep the sugar? Is it in the pantry, the refrigerator, or the sink? Great! Let's make a pie! Hmm, can you smell the apples and cinnamon? Okay, it's time to bake a pie. First, preheat the oven to 425. I don't think we should be using the oven by ourselves. We should always ask a parent to help. I'm not sure where they are right now. <laughs> We're on our own, Willie. First, preheat the oven to 425 degrees. Then, put the apples into the pie tin. Now, put it in the oven and bake it for 40 minutes. Our pie is ready! I can't wait to eat it! Willie, let's have some pie!
Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What do you like best about your neighborhood? That's great! I like that there are so many friends in my neighborhood. Today, I want to send something special to my friend. First, I need to go to the store to buy them a card. Do you know where the store is? Let's go to the store. Let's pick out a card. My friend helped me when I was sad. What kind of card should I send them? Do you think that's what they need? Great! I found the perfect card. Time for the next errand. When friends do nice things, it's important to thank them. I want to get my friend a special treat. Can I have a special treat? I want to get my friend a special treat. Where can I buy a treat for my friend? Good job! Let's go get that treat! Mmm! Everything smells so good! I want to buy my friend some buy my friend some cookies. Can you show me where the cookies are? Those look so tasty! We just have one more stop in the neighborhood! The package is ready for my friend! They live pretty far from me, so we need to mail it! Wow, it's getting late. Most of the stores are closed. We probably can't send that now. I have to send this to my friend. It's time to go to the post office. Let's send this package to my friend. Their name is... Wait, I don't remember. Can you help me? We can come back tomorrow. You don't have to send that now. No, I have to send this to my friend. Help me. Who does the package need to go to? No, that's not my friend's name. You have to know their name! Great work! Now we can send this to my friend! I hope she likes the cookies.
Oh, it's you. Whatever you do, don't... <laughs> oh, no! Lily had an accident! An accident is when something bad happens, but it's not anybody's fault. Accidents can happen in your house, at school, at the playground. You can get hurt almost everywhere. At 3.45 this afternoon, we were playing and Wooly tripped and fell. I, I didn't try. Where on Wooly does it look like he got hurt? That's right! Wooly hurt his knee. Who can help when you are hurting? Let's take Wooly to the hospital to see a doctor. Hmm, which room should we go into to find the right doctor to help Wooly? I don't think that doctor can help Wooly. Come on, let's get Wooly fixed up. Amanda, this really hurts. When is the doctor going to... The doctor isn't here right now. Let's see how we can help Wooly. Which tool can we use to check Wooly's injury? The heart monitor, the x-ray machine, or the scale? That's right! Now we can look at Wooly's bones.
I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. It's such a nice day for a picnic. What's your favorite food to eat at a picnic? Oh, I don't like that at all. Uh, Amanda, what's that smell? I've never smelled anything like that. Hmm, I don't know, Wooly. You're right. It's a bad smell. 
What do you think is making that bad smell? No, that looks fine. Eww, you're right! This sandwich is stinky because it's rotting. This tree stump is rotting too. Do you know why? Things rot when they are not alive anymore. Do you know what the opposite of alive is? That's right. The tree stump is dead. Dead is the opposite of alive. Good job! Men can die if they don't get enough light or water. Or if they get a disease. Let's go back to our nice picnic. Animals can die in different ways too. Look at poor Mr. Fox. He is dead and body. What do you think killed him? The gun, the knife, or the poisonous berries on this bush? I don't think that was it. No, it wasn't that. Look at his funny tongue. He's silly. What killed him? Wouldn't it be nice if he could tell us? Mr. Fox, what made you die? was the ugly old bear trap. Mr. Fox didn't even know what got him until it was too late. Amanda, this has gone too far. I don't like this. We saw so many things today! A riding sandwich, a riding tree stump, and silly old riding Mr. Fox. Sometimes I feel myself riding. It feels far away. Amanda, nothing is rotten here. What do you think? Do you think that everything rots? Of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. Answer my question. You don't have to answer that. See? Everything is fine here. It's all fine. I'm Wooly! Today we're going to make an apple pie. My favorite is peach pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? Today, we're going to make an apple pie. First, we need to cut the apples. Hmm, do you know what we can use to cut the apples?
can't use that. We can't use that. We can't use that. Good job! We can use a sharp knife. Uh, I don't think we're supposed to do that by ourselves. It's always good to be brave when you're by yourself. Look, I'm a pirate! Ha <laughs> ha! 